Hello everyone, this is Nash. According to Einstein's special relativity, it told us when something is now moving really fast, its mass is going to elevate, it's going to enhance. Let's say if I got a mass and it is now stationary, its mass can be expressed by m naught. If it is now moving fast, really fast, <clears throat> maybe half the speed of light or 0.9 speed of light, uh, this matter is now moving really fast. And uh, special relativity told us that the mass is now enhanced and it can be written as the mass is equal to the m naught. Uh, uh, the rest mass at stationary state divided by the square root of 1 minus v squared over c squared. This is what special relativity told us. Okay, so when something is now moving really fast <laughs> and I should correct the quantity, uh, all the physics quantity which have the mass in it, something like the momentum or the kinetic energy. For uh, momentum is really simple. I should I can just uh, simply <coughs> replace these the rest mass simply by the expanded mass like the uh, the the m. It is now already expand and uh, times its velocity. <coughs> and please remember this mass. Uh, is is now expressed by this m naught divided by the square root. Oh, this is so complicated. So sometimes I might uh, we might just write it down as as gamma times the m naught, and the gamma is equal to the one divided by the square root of one minus uh, v squared over c squared. Okay, if I want to derive the relativistic the relativistic uh, momentum and you should just use the enhanced you should just uh, plug in uh, plug in the enhanced mass like the gamma times m naught this is the relativistic momentum but today's uh, the main role is now the momentum momentum is quite easy what I truly want to talk about is the kinetic energy <laughs> kinetic energy K is one half mv squared. Of course, you know that if if the object you are now observing is now moving really fast, you know, it cannot be simply expressed by one half times the m naught v and times v squared. You already know that. I cannot just prove the uh, the rest mass inside this equation, but for lots of the beginner, they might think. What should I worry about? I can just replace the the, the rest mass uh, simply by the gamma times the m naught. <coughs> and let's say this is the relativistic kinetic energy. Lots of the lots of the beginners might want to do so. Even for me, twenty years ago when I was young, uh, <coughs> if I want to derive the the relativistic kinetic energy, I might know something about the special relativity. I know that the mass is gonna enhance when the speed is too high, so, uh, so I so I cannot ignore it. So I would just uh, simply replace the the rest mass simply by the expanded mass by the enhanced mass, the gamma times the m naught. But it turns out I was wrong. I was wrong. The relative Basic kinetic energy is now equal to one half times the corrective mass times the velocity squared. Okay, uh, please don't be too shocked. I was shocked 20, 20 years ago. So in order to answer this question, I need you to uh, to to remind yourself what is kinetic energy. I would say kinetic energy is some kind of energy gap between the initial stationary state and the moving state. So, I can write it down as the relativistic kinetic energy is equal to the total energy minus 
the vast mass energy. I can I can call this E as total energy, uh, or you can say it is relativistic energy. And for this E naught, the E naught is equal to M naught times C squared. You may be one. You may be wondering, uh, for, for if you are a beginner, you say it is not moving at all. If the object is, is now stationary, it doesn't move at all. Does it have any energy? Yes, it is. You can imagine uh, this energy is some kind of energy that you need to assemble all the molecules or atoms, all the elements together in order to make it as a as a mass. Yes, the energy required to assemble the mass. This is called the vast mass energy. <clears throat> okay, now the total energy can be uh, can be expressed by the, the the enhanced mass times the c squared, and which is the gamma times the m naught. This is the enhanced mass times c squared minus m naught times c squared. And since they all got the m naught, I can just move it right in front, and which is going to be uh, m naught times c squared m times gamma minus 1. Okay, so this is the hardest part for, for all this work. I should uh, expand the gamma in a series of digits. What is gamma? The gamma is, is 1 over, the gamma is 1 over the square root of 1 minus v squared over c squared. I'm going to expand this term by using the binomial theorem. Yeah, I'm going to expand this term by using the binomial theorem. <clears throat> so the first term is is going to be of the square. Oh, the square. Uh, the square root. Sorry, I sh I I, sh I should not write it down as minus one. I should write it down as minus half. Okay, so the first term is going to be 1, no problem, and the second digit is minus half, choose 1, minus half, choose 1, choose 1 times minus v squared over c squared. Okay, and the next term is and choose 2, the minus half, choose 2 minus v squared over c squared uh, to the second power. As you can see, the v over c is something less than 1. So for the rest of the digits, they are too small to be considered. So I, 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 I can just forget about all those digits right behind. I would just consider the three digits at the beginning. Okay, so uh, the uh, the gamma minus one, the gamma minus one can keep writing it as the m naught times c squared, and uh, as you can see, I can cancel the one. Okay, so now, now I only have two digits needs to be considered, uh, which is the, uh, the 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 n one and the n choose two term. Okay. What is n choose 1? n choose 1 is basically uh, n, right? So I can write it down as minus half times the minus v squared over c squared. Okay, and for, for the third digit, this is, this is n choose 2. And the n is minus one is minus half, so that would be uh, minus half times minus half and minus 
is 1. Divided by uh, 2 factorial, and uh, uh, seems you, you get a second power right here, so you can forget about a minus symbol. So this is going to be uh, v to the fourth power over c to the fourth power. Okay, since I forget about all the digits behind, so <coughs> this is what we got. Let's check. No problem. So <coughs> let's keep simplifying it. Uh, the k relativistic kinetic energy is equal to m the rest mass times c squared and this is gonna be v squared divided by 2 times c squared and what is more <laughs> this is gonna be uh, minus half times uh, minus 3 halves is gonna be uh, 3 quarters and divided by 2 is going to be 3 divided by 8. 3 divided by 8 and times v to the fourth over c to the fourth. <coughs> okay, since so it all got the c squared, I can cancel the c squared, the c squared and it leaves 2 and uh, they'll get the v squared I can take it out I can take the v squared out and I can also take the 2 uh, from the denominator out so it's gonna be like 1 half rest mass times v squared m times 1 minus uh, 3 divided by 4 and uh, v squared over c squared finally finally as you can see I'm now trying to uh, calculate the relativistic kinetic energy and it turns out to be some kind of uh, classical kinetic energy <laughs> classical kinetic energy times 1 plus 3v squared over 4c squared originally I expect that the relativistic kinetic energy can be written as 1 times the uh, the enhanced mass which is the gamma times the rest mass and times the v squared and according to the result as, as you can see it is not it does not equal to what I thought before when I uh, when I was a high school student maybe 20 years ago it is not equal to one half times the gamma times m naught times v squared okay so next time if you want to uh, correct your kinetic energy if you want to find out the relativistic kinetic kinetic energy please remember things are not that easy things are not that easy please just uh, re just don't simply replace this rest mass by the enhanced mass things are not that easy you should consider more about the result what we just have obtained okay <clears throat> thanks for watching see you next time this is Nash